Hi there, and welcome to this National 5 Maths video on functions. Your success criteria for this lesson are to be able to understand functions and set notation, as well as to be able to evaluate a function. A function is a rule for handling numbers and or letters, which is usually noted by f of x. So that thing you see there, f brackets x, we say that as f of x, and that is a function. But the letters f and x can change depending on the function. So you'll see plenty of examples that mix the letters up. So for example, h of t equals 5t minus 3, still a function, or g of x equals x squared plus 2x, also still a function. The normal notation is f of x, but you will see the letters swapped. In the bottom there, I've got an example of a function, which is f of x equals 2x plus 5. And all this means is we're processing some variable x by multiplying by 2 and then by adding 5. Okay, so 2x means multiply by 2, and then plus 5, obviously, we're adding 5 onto that. And that's performing a function or an operation on some number or variable for x. Another thing just to note is function notation. We may want to evaluate a function for what we call a set of values. And the way we, we show a set of values in maths is by these little curly brackets. And that basically means a set. We have this set here, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. So that set comprises of individual numbers, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Underneath that, we can also have sets that say, for example, negative 5 is less than x is less than 5. And that basically means the set of numbers which are in between negative 5 and 5. So you would have to think about all the values that are part of that set. A little example at the bottom here, we want to give all the members of the set negative 3 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 2. So that means all the numbers that are in between negative 3 and 2, and including negative 3 and 2, because we have our less than or equal to signs. So if we wanted to write all the members of that set, we would start at negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 are all the numbers which are members of that set. So just something to look out for. We can also evaluate a function at a given value. So, and this is one of the main, the main things we do with functions. So I've given a few examples. f of x equals 3x add 4. And we want to find a value for f of 3. So that just means we want to evaluate this function when x is 3. f of 3 is going to be equal to 3. And we're swapping x with the value 3. So 3 times 3 plus 4. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4 gives 13. So we evaluated that function, 3x plus 4, when x was 3. The second one, we've got a function 2x squared minus 2, and we want to evaluate for negative 2. So f of negative 2 is the same as 2 times negative 2 squared. Take away 2. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. So I've got 2 times positive 4. Take away 2. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 2, which is of course 6. So the value of that function at negative 2 is 6. And lastly, the difference this time, we're evaluating some function g of x, so notice how I said that the letters could change. This time we've got a function g of x, it's x squared plus 2x minus 4, and we want to evaluate it for a set of values. So this means every single one of those values we have to account for. I'm going to evaluate it at negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. So, let's start with negative 1. g of negative 1 equals negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. 2 times negative 1 is minus 2 and minus 4. That turns out to be negative 5. So the value of the function at negative 1 is minus 5. We can do the same with the next value, 0. 
all I'm doing is substituting 0 wherever I've seen x. So I've got 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 4. 0 squared is of course 0, 2 times 0 also 0, so that just leaves us with minus 4. So that's me evaluating that function at the first two values. I will leave you to evaluate at the next two values, so g of 1 and also g of 2. Take a minute to try those examples. There are also some examples here for you to have a go at. Number 1 is fairly straightforward. Number 2, this time we have a little bit of a context. Don't let that put you off, we're still doing the same thing. You read the story and it tells you that t represents time and h of t is talking about a height after a period of time. So all we do here, find the height of the rocket after 10 seconds. That means the time is 10 seconds. So we're evaluating that function after 10 seconds. So that would be h of 10. And I want you just to tell me what that value is. So have a go at those two questions. And anything you struggle with, bring it into class. A couple of things just to watch out for. Number one, the changing of variables. So f of x equals x squared plus 5. They might ask you to write a function for f of t, for example. And all that means is, instead of x, we're going to have the variable t. Just like we did before swapping it with numbers, this time we're swapping with letters. f of t is going to be equal to, I'm swapping x for t, so t squared plus 5. That's all we do there. It then goes on to ask us to evaluate the function f of t when t equals 7. So now I've got my function f of t, I'm going to swap the letter t for 7, which means I've got 7 squared plus 5. 7 squared is 49, plus 5 gives me 54. So I've evaluated that function at a value 7. Okay, so watch for the changing of the variable letters. Another thing to watch out for is working backwards. So this is a slightly more difficult example where we're not being asked to find out um, the answer to the function. We've been asked to find out what the variable equals. So let's have a look through this example. First of all, we've got a function f of x equals 1 half x plus 3. And we firstly want to evaluate at f of 22. So straightforward, just like we were doing before. f of 22 is going to be equal to 1 half times 22 plus 3. Half of 22 is 11, plus 3 is 14. So the value of f of 22 is 14. Next, given that f of z equals 11, determine the value of z. So this time, we are given a value for the function, the outcome of the function. So we have to work backwards to determine the value of the variable. We've also noticed that instead of f of x, it's changed to f of z. So we've done that thing where we've swapped the letters, uh, the variable has changed. So firstly, I'm going to write the function for f of z. f of z equals 1 half z. So all I've done is replace the x in the original function with z plus 3. And then it tells us that the function f of z is equal to 11. So this means instead of swapping this variable for 11, we know that the whole function f of z is equal to 11. So I can say now 11 equals 1 half of z plus 3. Okay, now we've just got a bit of rearranging to do to solve for z. So take away 3 from both sides. That leaves me with. 8 equals 1 half of z. To get rid of the a half, we multiply both sides by 2. And that leaves us with 16, or just to flip it around straight away, z equals 16. So instead of finding the value for the function, we found what the variable z is equal to in this case. z was equal to 16. I'll put up a couple of other practice questions. The second one was actually from the 2015 past paper. 
You can have a go at these and bring any questions into class. Thanks for watching.